Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I'm excited to share with you my recipe to make hummus, which is great to add into your meals as a source of protein or also for snacks on veggies or crackers or much more. At the end of this video, I'll share two ways that I like to use hummus. So let's jump into it. I start by draining a can of chickpeas and I like to save their water as it is great to use as egg substitute if you whip it up. First I like to put 2 tablespoons of water in the blender, then I add the chickpeas, salt, 3 tablespoons of olive oil and start blending. You can see that by adding the water before the chickpeas the blender starts easier, especially if the one you're using is not super powerful. If needed, clean out the sides of the blender every once in a while. I'm using this whisk so it doesn't get cut with the blades. At this point, I had tahini, which is simply a blend of sesame seed that you can also make at home or buy at the store. And it will add a nutty flavor to the hummus and it's so super creamy. I also put the juice of half a lemon. I use this little strainer to filter out the seeds. And then a clove of garlic. I spice up my hummus with a pinch of paprika and some black pepper. Give the whole mixture one last blend. If you want the hummus to be even creamier, you can blend it for longer or you can add a bit more tahini or you can peel the chickpeas. I personally find this consistency the best for my taste. Once it's served into a bowl, I flatten it out and to decorate, I sprinkle a bit more paprika, some fresh pre-washed parsley that I cut in very small pieces and a drizzle of olive oil. Oh, and don't forget one last decorational parsley leaf. You can store the hummus up to five days in the fridge in a closed container or you can also freeze it. I love to prepare bruschette with hummus, which are a great idea to serve as appetizer or snack. So to make them, I toast some bread in the oven. I garnish my first bruschetta with a layer of hummus, some very well roasted bell peppers that I previously cooked in the oven, some fresh salad mix and a sprinkle of flax seeds. For my second bruschetta, I used some diced cherry tomatoes and some finely cut purple onion. I added some salt, oregan, a drizzle of olive oil and some basil. And here they are, those delicious appetizers are ready to be eaten. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to my channel for a new video every single Thursday. See you there!